It's him out there and not me. What we're hoping for is known as a breach. Conditions are perfect. Great whites prefer to hunt in low light, as it gives them an element of surprise. The longer this weather continues, the better our chances of seeing a breach. Exactly what we've been hoping to see. A full, leaping, breaching attack. It was an enormous animal and it completely cleared the water. The tail must have been two and a half, even three meters out of the waves. The force that must be generated to get an animal of that size clear of the water must be unimaginable. But how hard did that shark hit the decoy? Right, we want to bring it in quickly now, because the last thing we want is a great white breaching right up onto the boat. Well, if this was a real seal, it would be in a lot worse condition than that. Kind of miraculous, but this does still seem to be functioning. And let's see what we've recorded. The highest it's recorded is 5G of force as this decoy was being carried upwards by our shark. That's the same as a fighter jet in a tight turn. And if you can imagine that, that kind of force being delivered by an animal that could be a ton in weight with 300 scalpel sharp teeth, it would be simply unstoppable. If this was a real seal, right now it would be in tatters. This is a devastating predatory technique. The shark's eyes, pressure and electrical sensors lock on to its target. With a few flicks of its tail, it accelerates to 20 miles an hour. The force of the impact drives the entire animal clear of the water. The decoy is continuing to attract large great whites. Played in real time, we get an insight into why breaches are so lethal. Seals only have a tenth of a second to react. And finally, we witness a breach by a giant great white. The decoy is 90 centimeters. Using it as a scale, this shark is around five meters long. This is a true supergiant. Seen fully out of the water, you can understand why it's one of the most lethal predators on the planet.